Welcome to another video. If you are new to my channel, my name is Alyssa. Welcome. So today I thought I would share with you an experience that I had last night that was really awesome. I live in South Florida and there is a place here called Hippocrates Health Institute. And it's a place where people go for all different reasons, sometimes just to get healthy, maybe just to have a bit of a retreat or to heal from various diseases, including cancer and diabetes, and I believe multiple sclerosis. Um, some people just go there to lose some weight or to have a nice retreat away from home for a little while. It is a place of healing. They serve all raw foods and it's quite amazing. So last night they were having a talk, a lecture, and it was being given by a guy named Jordan David and he runs a company called Conscious Muscle and he is a vegan bodybuilder. And I will put a link to his Instagram and Facebook and his website down below. They offer programs for people to get in shape and transition to veganism. So my husband and I went to have dinner there because you can go also to Hippocrates just to have dinner and lunch. Um, they have an all you can eat salad bar. So I thought I would take you along and have you share the experience with me. I'll show you a little bit of what I ate for dinner and then I'll show you a few of the clips that I took of Jordan's talk. So I hope you enjoy. Instagram. We're getting between five and 600 new clients every month at a minimum. 
And the most rewarding part is we're helping people transition to veganism um, quite readily in the world of bodybuilding, powerlifting, CrossFit. So that's kind of what I do. Aside from fitness and nutrition, I'm a huge animal rights advocate. I have a small sanctuary in Loxahatchee. We're in the process of expanding. So I figured I'd start kind of telling you what I do, what I'm about, kind of let you know who I am and where I came from and how that translates to you. Uh, the name of the talk, as you can see, is Why Vegan? Why Not? Why is veganism important? This is the healthiest thing I can do. This is the best thing I can do. And from that point on, I kind of let down my walls of ignorance a little bit. Because the thing is, for those of you who aren't vegan, um, when someone presents an inconvenient truth to you that questions everything you've been conditioned to believe your entire life, you're, you're going you're to meet it with hostility and ignorance. If I'm questioning what you know to be true in terms of your nutrition, in terms of your lifestyle, and you've been living that way your whole life, you're going to take it personally. It's what we do as human beings. We're attached with an ego. So when questions your thought process, your opinions, we take it personal. So I kind of let that guard down and I became vegan. Whether you're eating four ounces of chicken breast or four ounces of non-GMO tofu, both have the same amount of protein, the same amino, amino acid profile. The body does not care where you're getting your protein from. Whether it's animal or plant-based, it's not gonna say, ah, oh, this isn't chicken, we're not gonna make gains, we're not gonna build muscle, it's not how it works. You know, the only thing your body knows is when it breaks down tissue, you ingest protein, protein breaks down into amino acids. The amino acids are then jettisoned to the muscles that need it for recovery and repair. So the body does not care where you get your protein. So there it is. That was what I had for dinner last night at Hippocrates Health Institute. And just a little bit of Jordan's talk. It was a really amazing talk. I felt super inspired, even though I've been vegan for almost six years now and I've continued to weight train and be active and a lot of the information was stuff that I knew. It's really great to hear it from another person's perspective and to hear some of the questions that other people in the audience had to see what people are still curious about when it comes to veganism and bodybuilding. So like I said, check him out, um, give his social media um, a look. And also, I never actually say this at the end of my videos, but I have an Instagram and a Facebook page, also Plants and Recreation, and I would love it if you guys would head on over there and check it out and give it a like or a follow. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up to let me know that you like it and I'll try and do more of these in the future. I hope you guys have a great day or night. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.